Hey everyone, today I'm diving into the budget-friendly world of external monitors with the Viltrox DC550 Pro. As someone who used the Atomos Ninja V, I was curious to see how this more affordable option stacks up. Stick around in this video where I share my first-hand experience with the Viltrox monitor and why it might just be the perfect addition to your setup. Yeah, we gotta start with uh, opening up the Viltrox case because it feels like a filmmaker's treasure chest. The thoughtful extras like the sunshade, for those sunny shoots and the USB-C charging port on the sleek Filtrox branded battery are all really, really good uh, additions. I especially appreciate how Viltrox includes not just one, but two handy cables, an HDM, a mini HDMI to an HDMI and a standard HDMI to HDMI. I can't help but think about the times I wish for these convenience conveniences with other monitors. It's clear that Viltrox has put some serious thought into making our lives as creators much easier. Moving on to the build quality of the Viltrox monitor. And I must say, I'm genuinely impressed. Given its price, I have to expect it something that might feel a bit budget. But as it turns out, the build quality is surprisingly good. And over time, I've come to trust Viltrox's commitment to delivering premium feeling products at a much affordable rate, such as their recent pro lenses, the, 70, the Viltrox 75mm, and the 27mm f1.2. The Viltrox DC550 Pro monitor, which I've got here, is no exception. It doesn't feel cheap by any means. The buttons offer a tactile experience with a satisfying click. Uh, speaking of variations, Viltrox offers three. Uh, there's the light version, there's the regular DC550 version, and there's the pro version, which I have. And from what I've gathered, the pro version comes with more comprehensive monitoring tools, touchscreen, and even a cooling fan, uh, features that the light version lacks. At the top, there's an SD memory card slot for importing your LUTs into the monitor. The cool wheel dial, a thoughtful addition, allows you to navigate through the monitoring system, make, making it more convenient, especially when your hands might be less than clean. As far for the touchscreen, it feels responsive when I'm navigating through the menu system. I haven't felt a lag or a delay that you usually get when dealing with budget-friendly options. One standout feature I really appreciate on this monitor is the 1200 nits uh, screen brightness, making it usable even in bright sunlight. To put this in perspective, the iPad Air, a commonly used device, has a brightness level of 500 nits, less than half of what this monitor offers. However, just be careful because if you crank this monitor up to its uh, maximum brightness, uh, it may not accurately represent exposure, the exposure in your video. The monitor also boasts several tools to assist with your videos, such as a uh, vector scope, RGB, parade, false colors, among other comprehensive tools for your filming needs. When it comes to battery life, I remember the Viltrox battery lasting about one hour of filming for me before needing a change. For longer shoots, I recommend using a larger battery for extended monitoring. While the Viltrox DC Pro has proven to be an excellent budget-friendly video monitor with its impressive features and affordability, there's one thing it can't do that I wish it could, and that is screen recording. Incorporating this feature would have been, would have been the icing on the cake. Perhaps, maybe in like the next iteration, Viltrox can consider adding this in. Despite this limitation, the monitor offers a great value, especially when compared to like competitors like the Atomos Ninja, which can cost around $500 to $600 without including extras like a cool shoe mount, a monitor shade, or even a quality carrying case, all of which come standard with this Viltrox. And as of this recording, the Viltrox DC550 Pro is priced at $168 on Viltrox's website making it an, an attractive option considering the features that it brings to the table. Uh, for my needs in uh, YouTube content creation, the monitor has been a great addition. It's a significant upgrade from relying uh, the LCD flip-out screen on the back of my camera. The larger display provides a more immersive experience for me. And my wife, who is also a content creator, has found great utility in this monitor. While she's not a filmmaker, she does value the simplicity and ease of use and the bright screen while she monitors herself teaching her courses. So if you're someone that is on a budget that wants a bright monitor with great features to help you film, take a look at the Viltrox DC550S Pro. I know filmmakers and professionals may perhaps look elsewhere, but for the budget-friendly people out there, the budding filmmakers, even content creators who just needs a big bright screen monitor themselves while they're filming, this would be a great tool to have. And if you're interested, I've included the links down in the description below. Do you guys own the Viltrox DC550S Pro? Let me know your thoughts. And if you found this video valuable, consider subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks so much.